This is an urgent word for someone, okay? So you may have already received this blessing or it's literally about to come in. God is, God, God is about to bless you with some extra income. And here's the thing. Because you may have went without for so long, you're excited. It's like you're excited because you're like, oh my gosh, God, I can finally buy this for myself. I can finally buy that for myself. I'm excited about it. But now it's like you're torn between two things. It's like, okay, God, you, ha you gave me an idea. You gave me a, a plan and you want me to work towards a business or you want me to work towards a project that's going to bring in more income. But in order for me to receive this, this, this extra income or more income, I have to invest the extra income you're giving me into that to receive more. But I want what I want right now really pertaining to this because it's something that I need. So it's kind of like you're torn between investing into something that you can keep building towards that's going to grow later um, and something pleasurable that you can receive right now for in the moment that you've been wanting, okay? It could be anything. It could be you shopping for clothes, something. It could be whatever, okay? But God is about to bless you with extra income and what he said is he wants you to put the income towards that project or towards that business that's going to bring in more income later on because here's the thing. I know... A lot of times we're impatient and, you know, especially when you go without and you don't ever do anything for yourself. It's like when you receive something, you want to spoil yourself in the moment because you never get to really do that. Right. But think about the long terms. You're like, I don't want to wait to spoil myself, God, because I deserve to spoil myself. I don't want to wait an extra amount of time to do that. I want it now. But think about the long term. You can spend that income now on something that you're, that's, you're going to do for yourself to spoil yourself and enjoy it for that moment or have it sitting in your home. If you're buying something, have it sitting in your home and you don't get to really use it that often compared to putting the income into something that's going to bring in more income later on and you could buy more of what you wanted to buy now. You see what I'm saying? Like He says, think about the long-term goals. Think about, you know bringing in more there's a scripture i forgot which book it's in oh my god this is a perfect example thank you holy spirit i forgot the book but he just reminded me of a scripture where i think the there was like a farmer or there was a person i gave um each person i think it's money or coins right and they went and invested the coins into some of the some of the individuals went and invested the coins like one person went and invested two coins and brought back two more brought back sorry brought back four coins some some of them may invested five brought back ten and there was one person that just hit it never invested it and just gave the owner um back what he gave them right so i forgot what book that is you guys know where i'm coming from but God, i just literally just got reminded of that so Yes, you may have to wait a little bit longer to spoil yourself, but just think about this is going to help you later on. This is more of an investment. This is long term. So I know you want to buy what you want to buy now. I know you feel like you deserve it, etc. But put the income towards something that's going to bring in more because later on you're going to be even more happy because you're going to have your business going or that project going, but you're also going to receive the income back that you've invested plus more. Okay, so this is for someone. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.